dog, Butch? Not hardly, baby. A couple of guys tried to strong arm me for my valuables. I had to lay down the law and then leg it before the cops showed up. Really? I've never lied to you before, Blanche. This old dog don't not never learn no new tricks. Never. Six months ago, Salo Magazine announced it was launching a model search to find the new It Man. Everyone in the industry figured the winner was a lock, Cesario Margulies. They'd even started booking its photo shoots and press tours. Let me guess. Everything was going along smoothly till someone figured out Cesario was actually a monkey. Kidnapped from the jungle and shaved bald and sent off to finishing school. All at the whim of some mad scientist who had a bone to pick with the fashion industry on account he was born with a horrible facial disfigurement and could never have a normal relationship. No. Half monkey, half robot cyborg. Just shut up and listen, Butch. Cesario's body was found yesterday in his apartment. The cops are treating his death as suspicious. Well, maybe he just got... just got tired of... never being able to experience human emotions and feelings and unplugged himself. For Christ's sake, he wasn't a cyborg, you jackass! Fine. Play it your way. How did Cesario go to the great beyond? A logging accident. That's why the cops are suspicious. He lived in a loft and there really wasn't any reason for him to own a chainsaw. Maybe not to the untrained eye, Blanche. But experience has taught me there's more to everything than meets the eye. And wolverines don't like to be tickled. I need your help to find out if the contest is being fixed. As, as much as I'd like to service you gratis, Blanche. The clock equals greenbacks, and old Butchie's got bills to pay. What did you have in mind? One thousand dollars and... and... you have sex with me again. Twelve hundred dollars, no sex. Okay, how much you got? Three hundred. If whatever you find makes sense in the translation and leads to a story. I figured you'd see things my way. I'm gonna have to eyeball the crime scene, Blanche. You set that up. And I'm gonna go down and sign up for the contest. I figure I'll work this one from the inside. They don't let just anyone enter, Butch. They have pretty high standards. That'll just make it mean more when I win. The following program deals with mature subject matter and is intended for adult audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Come in. The Swede. I sent your detective friend out for a coffee. So... You still planning on going through with the book? How do you know about the book? I've been tailing you for the past few months and reporting back to Debbie. I sometimes come into the room when you're sleeping, look around, see what you've been up to, pour water onto your crotch so you wake up thinking you had a bedwetting problem. I knew it wasn't true. Oh, yes, it is. I was lying just now. You do have a bedwetting problem. I'm surprised my laughing and the sound of the camera didn't wake you up. 
That's a sign of anxiety. Your subconscious is probably feeling guilty about the book. My guilt will dissipate directly proportionate to the amount of money in my wallet. Thanks to this little book, I'm sure I'll be feeling guilt-free very soon. You're already on Debbie's hit list. This will put you on Tommy's. They'll never know it was me. The book is being written with a pseudonym. Sit down, Vance. I have a proposition to make that will get rid of the problem for both of us. You've got penicillin? I meant Debbie Hitler. She wants me to kill Tommy and Jasmine and Butch Patterson. I don't want to. She wants you dead. I presume you prefer that didn't happen. I propose we help each other out to rid ourselves of a mutual problem. So what do you think? Well, I can see why the crime scene made you perk up your ears and think it wasn't an accident. What'd you say it was again, hyenas? Logging accident. That would explain the positions of the body. So let's assume your theory's correct and Cesario wasn't a cyborg. That must mean he's got some human history. So what's his story? Son of a factory worker, lower middle class upbringing, good student, quiet, no trouble with the law. All the people I talked to said they liked him, said he didn't have any enemies. Well, he was trying to run in a different circle, Blanche. My guess is the people you talk to don't know jack squat about the world he was trying to gate crash. It must have been someone associated with the contest. Cesario was a shoe in to win. And that makes for some pretty jealous competitors, agents, and managers. So, is there anything else you want to see before we go? Nah. I don't figure no one who left a place this clean is going to leave no evidence lying around. It looks like old Butchie does more prematurely than just ejaculate. Get a load of that. Cesario's prints, Butch. It's just dust left over from the police fingerprinting unit. Well, you're looking, but you ain't seeing, Blanche. Look at the angle of the prints. My guess is if you reassembled this stupid prick, you'd be about my height. Look at the way the prints are. That must mean he was kneeling down and reaching up. funny. I remember it being a nicer place when I was a kid. Did you come here with your parents? Nice. No, just come here by myself sometimes to get away from everything. Childhood was rough? I wouldn't know. I never had one. What happened? Look, I gotta be somewhere before six, so why don't we just see what Puzzle Boy was hiding? What do you think it is? Well, my best guess, given everything that's happened so far, it's a comprehensive instructional video on how to build your own cyborg. Oh, for Christ's sake. God. Ease up, buttercup. Little butchy eyeball this first. I'll give you the skinny pronto. My parents were killed in a yachting accident when I was four and sent away to live in an orphanage. I ran away when I was seven, and I've been on my own ever since. A yachting accident, huh? 
Those things are pretty expensive. Wasn't there enough money to care for you? Relatives you could have stayed with? No. Wasn't their yacht. Fell off a trailer driving down the highway and landed on the fruit stand they were working at. Watermelons, mostly. Killed them both. I didn't, uh, I didn't put in no full-on shots of my Johnson, but uh, I ain't shy if it's important to the campaign. Just be here Saturday morning, 8 a.m. sharp. You can count on that, baby. Why the hell haven't you killed Tommy and Jasmine? The opportunity hasn't presented itself. Listen, you two-bit Swedish bastard. I've had it up to my ass with your excuses. You've got 48 hours or else... I didn't know who killed Cesario for sure, but I'd just found out why. By the looks of things, Cesario had stumbled across a film that could change the world. My guess is he was looking for a buyer to try and cash in by using it for leverage against one of the men on the tape. Either way, he'd have been better off ditching the tape and trying to forget he ever saw it. I just prayed the day would come when I could forget it too. Yeah, it's me, Patterson. Tall, good-looking guy, always in a hat. I just figure you sometimes need reminding. Listen, call off the dogs on the beauty pageant. They're barking up the wrong tree. I watched the tape. It turned my stomach. I could only get through the first few minutes of it, but people on there got plenty of reason to try and stop anyone from ever seeing it. Meet me at my office tomorrow morning. I'll fill you in. Bring a bottle. Something big. Good morning, sunshine. Yeah, only if you brought my bottle. I was kind of hoping for something bigger. Yeah, well, now you know how I felt when we had sex. Well, at least it didn't last too long. So where's the tape? It's over there in the machine. Just give me a minute to take the edge off. You may want to sit down, too. Jesus, Patterson. Well, I warned you, baby. It's a movie. Well, I'm not an idiot, Blanche. Maybe you're still in shock over seeing it. I mean, it's a real movie. It's called Police Academy. It's the most horrific thing I've ever seen. I had that Gutenberg fella pegged as the killer. He's got plenty of reasons not to let people see this. Where are you going, Hopscotch? I've got work to do. What about my $300? You haven't even come close to earning it. If you want the money, go to the contest and find out who really killed Cesario. It starts in one hour. You might want to straighten up first.
Good morning, gentlemen. We will be bringing you in one at a time, so please have your paperwork ready. You will be interviewed and photographed, formal, beachwear, and crack house hip. The winner will be announced at the end of the week. Best of luck. I'm sure all of you will do very well. Except for you, the stupid looking man in the hat. We'll begin in about 15 minutes. You think that's funny? I got a joke for you. What do you get when you cross a fedora with a cerebellum? Anyone else want to play joke time? Listen here, you bunch of pricks. I ain't really here for the contest, on account I got a man's job instead. Now, up until a week ago, we all know this little dog and pony show was for the silver medal. Then the front runner ran into a few problems with the chainsaw. Now it's anybody's race. But I got two nights worth of horror money, says the butchers in this here room. Now I could use my skills as a dick to get to the skinny of what really went on. That's gonna take longer than my liver's willing to wait. So I figured I'd try and fast track things a little bit and see if I couldn't make first call. So here's the deal. Whoever killed Cesario is gonna man up to it. Otherwise I'm gonna start persuading you one at a time till I get the answers I'm looking for. I think you're bluffing. I don't think you have the guts to shoot anyone. It was him. You coward. I'm not going to jail for you. Hey, Blanche, it's me, Patterson. Yeah, that's right, the guy with the hat. Look, haul your gams down to the magazine shop and bring the law with you. Now, the guy's name is, uh, Sebastian. Nah, just one name, like Cher or Arsehole. Now, he's got a buddy who's gonna sing in court for immunity. It's open. Why don't you have a seat, Blanche? Let me give you a nice big stiff one. Right. The money. How did it all play out? Sebastian's buddy caved in like a sandcastle at high tide. There's all for you yet, Blanche. The cops acted as if they would have discovered it by themselves, but I could tell they had no idea. They should be thanking us for doing their job for them. The only thanks I ever got from the law came at the business end of a nightstick. They got the glory. You got your story. Everything's coming up roses. What about you? I got paid. So why don't you tell me about the story you're gonna write? Don't leave out no details. Oh, Butchie's got all night. I'd love to, Butch. Just let me get my notes. little 
red button up at the front of the camera.